Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. A hormone found in pregnant women might speed recovery from serious brain injuries. An experimental trial at IU's Health Methodist Hospital of a pregnancy hormone may help reduce swelling and improve memory in people who have suffered traumatic brain injuries. It has shown promise, according to Dr. Michael Turner, a neurosurgeon at Goodman Campbell Brain and Spine. Turner says other sex hormones have been widely accepted by doctors to have some impact on the brain. The United States has the worst unemployment rate amongst young adults. As it's reported the Annie E. Casey Foundation, nearly 6.5 million U.S. teens and young adults are neither in school nor in the workforce. The report shows the number of Americans aged 16 to 24 is half of what it was just more than a decade ago and the lowest since the 1950s. 20-year-old Brandon Fetz of Franklin says he has friends that have graduated and still live at home. So I try to talk to them about it, try to steer them in the right direction, and they just want to do their own thing. They think they have it good as they have it right now, living at the parents, but I'm like, in five, ten years, something like that, you're going to have to move out. You need to get a job, get going. Indiana Business Research Center Director Jerry Conover says the report points out the nation should take a two-generation approach to dealing with the problem. He says that means making young parents more employable and better educated. Otherwise, it will be a perpetual cycle. Here in Indiana, we're not too different from the nation overall in the figures that they came up with. About 27 percent of uh, older teens have jobs in Indiana. That's right at around the national average. And I think 60, 61 percent of the 20 to 24 year olds are employed. The report emphasizes the need to provide flexible pathways to success for more young people, including those without financial means. Your weather tonight, mostly clear, lows in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 40s.